please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Well, with that, let's invite Uden Mukherjee to join us in the conversation. Morning, Uden. Good to have you with us as always. Uh, well, first up, uh, uh, you know, the markets uh, sulked a lot and with good reason. Uh, do you think that this bank issue will continue to be a huge overhang on the stocks? Morning, Lata. Uh, I think the market's trying to consolidate right now. We've had a fairly significant fall, the biggest of the last 12, 14 months, uh, on the way down from 11,200 uh, to about 10,300 levels. We have visited the 10,300 level a couple of times. I think the market's comfortable with that for the moment. Uh, so we could try and work within a range of maybe 10,300 as the base, maybe 10,700 as the top end of the range, uh, and see if we can consolidate for a few weeks after the first big drawdown. Because markets never fall in a single line. They will give you bounce back and consolidation phases. But uh, I'm not terribly comfortable or confident that 10,300 is the final bottom for the year. But, we may see uh, darker periods coming, but that depends also on how the global story plays out. For the moment, I think there are some headwinds, which is causing uh, the FIIs to get quite uncomfortable. Uh, they have been selling through the month of February, and that might well continue going forward. So India is underperforming in a sense, and I think that is something which FIIs are very cognizant about. But the DII money still hasn't dried up completely, so we are probably stuck in a bit of a range now. Let's see if we are in the midst of a pullback, how strong that pullback is, and then we can decide whether this range will hold for the moment. Okay. Uh, Udyan, hi. Good morning. Uh, the space that's made a big comeback this year and this uh, month is uh, the IT space. Uh, big moves there. Uh, do you think that there's still more uh, upsides in, in some of these large cap IT names? It's tough to say, Sonia, because we've had a bit of a pullback already, and that, I think, was the valuation catch-up with the rest of the market or some unwinding of the relative underperformance that has marked this sector for several quarters and maybe years now. I think a part of that has played out. I mean, if you listen to the NASCOM commentary, they're still talking about 7 to 9 percent growth, which is not great. I think almost everybody agrees that the bulk of IT business, which is the legacy business, still faces uh, severe challenges. So I doubt whether we've seen enough yet to conclude that there has been a marked growth uptake in the sector per se. What has happened is a bit of the uh, undervaluation unwind. That I think is nearing a bit of an end. There are some new H-1B visas which are coming to the fore again. So I wouldn't hold my breath for major gains in the IT sector from here on. A large part of it might have played out already. Now we'll need to see growth. I think IT sector valuations are now comparable with the rest of the market. Now earnings growth will have to drive the stocks, not a valuation re-rating as we've seen over the last few weeks. This, this year is going to be interesting, right? Last year, portfolio investors you know, would have made a lot of money and uh, uh, the return expectations would have gone up, especially with the kind of mutual fund inflows that we have seen. So in that sense, do you get a sense <coughs> that this, this year could be a you know, bit of a troublesome year for portfolio investors? You're right, Anuj, but I think it's the mid-cap portfolios which I'm more concerned about because while the market might have lost, what, 7-8% from its recent top, if you look at the mid-cap portfolios which generated huge returns over 2017 calendar, I think that has run into a spot of bother over the last 30 or 40 days. Uh, so it is that part of the market which is more interesting as we look deeper into the year because valuations have corrected there but uh, probably not enough. In many pockets, uh, mid-cap valuations are still quite elevated. So I think the big challenge is how do, in portfolio investors, the question that you ask, how do they approach any kind of pullbacks in the mid-cap space? Do they say that the correction is over and then we should pile on to these mid-caps again? Or has the market psychology changed after being stung by this fall in the mid-caps? And they say that every pullback in mid-caps is an opportunity to lighten up because 2018 will not be so easy compared to 2007. One thing is clear in my mind that you will not see major valuation expansion from here on, which is to say that if mid caps or portfolio stocks have to go up from here this year, then they will have to go up in line with earnings. Whenever earnings come in uh, great, where 25-30% jump is reported, sure, stocks can go up. But if you're banking on valuations expanding from 30p to 35p, which is what led to most of the gains last year, then I think you're bracing yourself for disappointment. So I think the story of 2018 will be volatility, 
and in most cases stocks unable to go up unless earnings are demonstrated and very little room for valuation expansion unlike last year.